Servos. There are many different kinds of servos out there, from the small 9 gram ones to the 10, 15 pounders and beyond. If you're into any kind of robotics or electronics, chances are you have seen this around, or maybe you even own a couple of them. And also if you're watching this video, chances are you don't know what to do with them, how to control them, how to make them move. And I had the same problem at first. Why? Because there are over a hundred videos out there showing how to do this. But they're not really explanatory, some are really hard to understand, some don't have the code, some you just can't see what they're doing. So today I'm gonna try to make a really simple video on this really simple problem that a lot of people have and that I had at first. So I'm just gonna try and make it as simple as possible so that you can understand it and put it into your projects. For this video, we're gonna be using a standard hobby servo. This is the one that most of the people are gonna have. So, first of all, in order to understand how a servo works, we need to look inside it. So, as you can see, this is the inside. It has a small DC motor, as well as a potentiometer to know in what position the servo is. And then on top, it just has a bunch of gears. Some are metal, some are plastic. It depends on what servo you buy. And then it just has three cables coming out of it, and I'm gonna show you later what to do with them. If you're into electronics or robotics, you've probably already used a DC motor, and you know that it's very simple. You just grab the two cables, plug them into a battery, and it moves. That's pretty simple, but with the servo, it's not as easy. You cannot just grab the connector and plug it into any battery. So how do we do this? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You use a microcontroller. In this case, I'm gonna be using an Arduino board. This is a very simple board to use. You just plug in your servo, write some code in the computer, and that's it, you can make it work. So right now I'm gonna show you how to plug it in. For this, you're gonna need three male-to-male -male jumper wires, which you're gonna connect into three terminals in your servo. Then you're gonna grab the other end of those cables and plug them into a breadboard. Make sure you keep the same order in your cables as they were on the servo connector. Now we can set the servo aside and just work on these cables. So first we're gonna plug in a ground wire on the servo to the ground terminal on the Arduino. Then the 5 volts to the 5 volts terminal on the Arduino, it's really simple. And lastly we're gonna plug in the signal wire, which is gonna be the orange or white one to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. Now off to the code. This is where it gets tricky for most people. When I started to do this, I just downloaded the code, copy pasted it, and it was really simple, but I didn't really learn to do it. So today I'm gonna to try to walk you through everything that you need to do to make this server work, so you really understand it, really learn it, and then you can apply it yourself. So we're gonna go under the sketch tab and import the servo library so that you don't have to write it down yourself. Then you're gonna put servo, my servo, so that you give your servo a name. Then under the void setup, you're gonna put my servo dot attach nine. So this is gonna say that it's attached to the digital pin nine. Then you're gonna move up to your void loop where we'll put the actual code to make the servo move. So we'll put my servo dot write 90. This is gonna make it center on the 90 degree mark. Then you're gonna put a delay for 1000 microseconds, which is one second. And then you're gonna put my servo dot write 180. This is gonna move to the angle 180. Then you're gonna put another delay of one second. And then you're gonna write my servo dot write nine, what, no, sorry, zero. So this is gonna make it move all the way to the other side, to angle zero. Then you're gonna put another delay at the end, and that's pretty much it. So just verify it and upload it to your board, and that's pretty much all you have to do on the code. Now just plug in your board to your computer, and you can see that it works. It moves from 90 to 180 to zero with a one second pause in every position. This was a really simple code and a really simple setup that only took us about five minutes to do. Uh, but there are really a thousand different projects that you can do with servos. You can do humanoids, you can do other types of robots, just uh, home improvements, things. Uh, the possibilities are limitless, and now that you know how to plug them in, how to use them, I can't wait to see the projects that you do with them. 
Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every week. Also, check out the related videos, you might like them.